our today class on cellular adsorption, metaplasia and dysplasia. Metaplasia, dysplasia. Point to be studied, definition, characteristics, causes, types, mechanism, clinical significance, how to avoid. What is metaplasia or define metaplasia? Metaplasia is a reversible changes in which one adult type of cell is replaced by another adult type of cell of similar nature. This is another definition. Metaplasia is the replacement of one differentiated somatic cell type with another differentiated somatic cell type in the same tissue. This is a picture. This is the columnar cell replaced by squamous cell. This is a picture of lower end of the esophagus, lower end of the esophagus lined by squamous epithelium which is replaced by columnar epithelium of gastric type. What are the characteristics of metaplasia? Metaplasia is the replacement of one adult cell type with another adult cell type of similar nature. Number two, a common cause of metaplasia is constant irritation or injury that initiates a chronic inflammatory response. Mainly occurs in the epithelial cells. Metaplasia may be physiological or pathological. Metaplastic changes occurs from genetic reprogramming of stem cells present in the tissue. It has got both good and bad effects. That is why it is called 2S sword. May transform in dysplasia and anaplasia. This is a picture. This is the columnar epithelium replaced by squamous epithelium. This is called squamous metaplasia. These are the ciliated columnar epithelium replaced by squamous epithelium, which is called squamous metaplasia. Causes and few examples of metaplasia. These are the causes, these are the examples. Causes tobacco smoking, which causes squamous metaplasia in respiratory tract. Gastric acid reflux, gastric metaplasia of distal esophagus. Gastric metaplasia means gastric cell, epithelial metaplasia. Repeated skeletal muscle injury with hemorrhage. Muscle is replaced by bone, which is called myositis ossificans. Histone in the gallbladder of excretory duct of salivary gland, pancreas, bile duct, etc. It's cause matter of pleasure because this stone continuously irritates the epithelium. Columnar epithelium cannot withstand with the chronic irritation. So, it is replaced by squamous epithelium, which can withstand by this chronic irritant. Acid pH in vagina, endocervical metaplasia, columnar to squamous metaplasia. This is a picture of metaplasia. Cellular adaptation, this is normal ciliated columnar epithelium replaced by squamous epithelium. Ciliated columnar epithelium replaced by squamous epithelium, reversible process. This is ciliated columnar epithelium replaced by squamous epithelium of abnormal development. Mild moderate severe dysplasia, this is dysplastic cells. Mild moderate severe dysplasia, great. Mild and moderate dysplasia can reverse, revert to normal, but severe dysplasia or carcinoma in situ never revert to normal. Ciliated columnar epithelium, this one is ciliated columnar epithelium, this is squamous epithelium. This ciliated columnar epithelium is replaced by this squamous epithelium. This is metaplasia. This is dysplasia, ciliated columnar epithelium is replaced by dysplastic cells. What are the characteristics of dysplastic cells? We will discuss later. This is esophagus, lower end, replaced by gastric type of columnar epithelium. Why? Due to acid reflux. Type of metaplasia? 
there are four types of metaplasia epithelial metaplasia connective tissue metaplasia tumor metaplasia changes in mesothelium which is called mesothelial metaplasia epithelial metaplasia connective tissue metaplasia tumor metaplasia epithelial metaplasia again divide into squamous metaplasia and columnar metaplasia squamous columnar cells or transitional epithelial cells changes to squamous cells columnar metaplasia squamous cells changes to columnar epithelial cells connective tissue metaplasia osseous metaplasia bone marrow show metaplastic bone formation osseous metaplasia in soft tissue osseous metaplasia in the muscles osseous metaplasia fibroblast undergoing metaplasia to osteoblast bone marrow show metaplastic bone formation that is metaplastic osteoblast form from the local mesenchymal cells and primitive hematopoietic stem cells which produces bony structure osteoblast produces bones produces bone tissue bony structure within the bone marrow marrow is not a bony tissue osseous metaplasia in the soft tissue scar areas of dystrophic calcification what is dystrophic calcification calcium deposition in non viable tissue likewise osseous metaplasia in the muscles localized and generalized hemorrhage within the muscle it a long continued jokon thake tokhon oi hemorrhage er oi part ta aste aste fibrous ta ebong oi khane ossification hoy kibhabe ossification hoy osteoblast toiri hoy osteoblast tokhon etake ossification othoba calcium deposition hoy deposition hoye bony structure er moto kore phele tumor metaplasia adenoschromous tumor adenoschromous tumor adeno carcinoma in the lungs it may be columnar carcinoma columnar cell may be transferred to squamous then this tumor is called adenoschromous carcinoma tumor contain both squamous cell and columnar cell malignancy together some example of metaplasia the sites of squamous metaplasia pseudo stratified columnar epithelium of the respiratory tract columnar epithelium of the excretory duct transitional epithelium of the renal pelvis and urinary bladder columnar epithelium of the gall bladder endocrine or glandular epithelium of the uterine cervix these are the sites where squamous metaplasia occurs pseudo stratified columnar this is also columnar cell where is it is lining of the respiratory tract columnar epithelium of the excretory duct all excretory duct salivary gland pancreas and other exocrine gland duct of this glands lined by columnar epithelium when it undergo continuous irritation or continuous inflammation or chronic inflammation then this columnar epithelium is replaced by squamous epithelium which is called squamous metaplasia columnar epithelium of the gall bladder gall bladder stone or any other chronic inflammation long continued chronic inflammation in this case columnar epithelium is replaced by squamous epithelium that is squamous metaplasia of gall bladder epithelium endocervical or glandular epithelium of uterine cervix long continued acid phase within the cervix causes columnar epithelium replaced to squamous epithelium sites of columnar metaplasia lower end of the esophagus barrett's esophagus cervical erosion and the cervical cell gradually cross over the squamous epithelium extra cervical squamous epithelium that is called cervical erosion pseudo stratified columnar ciliated respiratory epithelium to simple mucous secretory columnar epithelium in chronic bronchitis and bronchiectasis intestinal metaplasia in stomach what are the mechanism of metaplasia genetic reprogramming of stem cells that exist in normal tissue induced by cytokines growth factors and other environmental factors retinoic acid may play role exact mechanism is still unknown this is the mechanism of metaplasia 
stimulators, what are the stimulators? Cytokines, growth factors, extracellular matrix components. These stimulators cause activate a specific genetic signal transduction pathway. Induction and or activation of specific transcription factors in the nucleus. Tissue specific and differentiation gene become activated. Genetic reprogramming of the stem cell that exist in the normal tissues or of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells present in the connective tissue ultimately causes metaplasia. Clear? These are the stimulators, cytokines, growth factors, extracellular matrix components. These are the ligands bind with a specific receptor present on the cell surface. This is called receptor ligand binding. When these receptor ligand binds together, then it perturbs the cell membrane. After perturbation of the cell membrane, a series of steps occurs within the cytoplasm. Phosphorylation of the different inactive component which form active form of the component. This active form or component then enters into the nucleus and activate the inactive transforming factor. This transforming factor causes genetic changes that is genetic reprogramming of the stem cells that exist in the normal tissues or of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells present in the connective tissue which may lead to metaplasia. Clear? Clinical significance of metaplasia? Two ways sold. Bad effects, good effects. What are the bad effects? Impairment of secretory or ciliary function lead to various complications. Fertile soil for malignant transformation. What are the function of normal ciliary epithelium? Its ciliary movement uh, remove the foreign substance which enter into the respiratory tract. When this ciliary epithelium is replaced by simple columnar or its commercial epithelium, the ciliary activity ceases. And this foreign substance cannot be expelled from the respiratory tract, number one. Number two, this is the fertile soil for inflammation, repeated respiratory infection. This is the fertile soil for infection. And also this is the fertile soil for malignant transformation. When this metaplastic change long continued presence, then it transform into genetic mutation and transform the cell to neoplastic cells. Clear kina? Ciliary function was say, bitto teke expel kora. Ciliar nai hoye gese iskomas epithelium. The gulli expel kote parte sana. Normal or je secretion thake otake bijai rakte hoye jagata. Akon se secretion nai bijai othake shukai gese. Kano no kano replace hoye che iskomas epithelium diye. Tali ak number se expel kote parte sana, o kano secretion nai ota shukai gese. Tahale ki hobe infection hobe. क्या नो इन्फेक्शन में ये जो बैक्टीरिया भाइरस ये गुलो भीतर डूबते से फॉरेन सबस्टेंस ये गुलो डूबते से कंटिन्यूअस इरिटेशन कर बे अथवा इन्फेक्शन हो आर कंटिन्यूअस इरिटेशन इन्फेक्शन होले क्या हो बे अल्टीमेटली जीन म्यूटेशन हो बे जीन म्यूटेशन होले क्या हो बे मैलिग्नेंट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो तल्ली and the other is that 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 the other Hostel love it, hostel for the other. How to avoid metaplasia? 
quitting smoking and drinking alcohol, treating acid reflux and eradicating H. pylori infection, eating a diet rich in whole natural foods such as vegetables, fruits, nuts and whole grains etc. Avoid multiple sexual partners to avoid uterine cervical metaplasia, proper management of cervical inflammatory relation, management of any type of irritant which causes chronic inflammation. These are the facts to avoid metaplasia. Definition of dysplasia? Dysplasia is a disorder of cellular development characterized by an abnormality of both differentiation and maturation of the cells or tissues due to gene mutation. What are the grade of dysplasia? Dysplasia are mild, moderate or severe depending on how abnormal the cells look under a microscope and how mass of tissue or organ is affected. Epithelial layer quite as a one asset one I mean skin epithelial jigasha. What are the layers of skin? Stratum basally, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum and stratum corneum. These are the normal structure of the skin. When these cells, these epidermal cells become dysplastic, then dysplasia occurs usually in the basal layer, we start from basal layer. The dysplastic cells, when dysplastic remain within lower one third of the epidermal layer, then it is called mild or grade on dysplasia. When it involves lower two thirds of the epidermal layer, then it is called moderate dysplasia. When it involves full thickness, more than two thirds to full thickness, then it is called severe dysplasia. Severe dysplasia in other sense, it is called carcinoma in C2. This is a picture. This is dysplastic portion. This is the normal portion. Dysplasia. Cellular dysplasia refers to an alteration in size, shape and organization of the cellular components. Alteration of size, shape and organization. It is established that dysplasia is a pre-neoplastic lesion in the sense that it is necessary stage in the multi-step cellular evolution of cancer. Characteristics of dysplasia, loss of uniformity of individual cells and loss of their architectural orientation. This is the architectural orientation, basal layer, spinous layer, granular layer, lucidum and corneum. The protecta layer is the cell gulo ase, accordingly tarje is a kaas, shei bhaave kaas kote thakhe. Jokon ehi basal layer ta poribatton hobe, jokon ehi cell er alteration hoye galo. Kiki alteration hobe? Size alteration, shape alteration, orientation. The orientation basal layer ta basal layer thakar kotha silo. কিন্তু সে আস্তে আস্তে উপরের দিকে চলে যাচ্ছে ক্লিয়ার তাহলে তার ওরিয়েন্টেশন ঠিক নেই পোলারিটি একটার সাথে আরেকটা যে রিলেশন থাকার কথা সেই রিলেশনটা নেই তাহলে এক যখন লোয়ার ওয়ান থার্ডে থাকবে তখন আমরা বুঝলাম গ্রেড ওয়ান যখন টু থার্ডে যাবে তখন আমরা বুঝলাম গ্রেড টু যখন টু থার্ড থেকে ফুল থিকনেস যাবে তখন আমরা গ্রেড থ্রি যখন ফুল থিকনেস ইনভলভ করে তখন সেটাকে আমরা বলেছি কার্সিনোমাইন সি টু লস অফ পোলারিটি পিলোমারফিজম অফ দি সেলস অ্যান্ড নিউক্লিয়াস Hyperchromatic nuclei with prominent nucleoli, nuclear membrane thickened and wrinkled, abnormal chromatin distribution, increased mitotic figures and dyscariosis. Pilomorphism money? Size among shape jodi poribatana take pilomorphism. Hyperchromatic nuclei with prominent nucleoli. Can hyperchromatic nuclei? Jetu a transformation is a neoplastic transformation. As you know, a cell proliferation is a rapid proliferation. Rapid proliferation is a key hobby. The rapid proliferation is a key hobby. DNA is a very important issue. The DNA is a very multiplication. The DNA is a very important material. The chromatin material is a nuclear light prominent. The nuclear light is a key. The messenger is a very important thing. The nuclear light is a very important thing. The nuclear membrane is thickened and wrinkled. 
abnormal chromatin distribution, coarse and clumped chromatin. Chromatin normal homogeneous distribution of thakbana, coarse and clump. And gradually jokun malignancy decay of the tokun a nuclear membrane shate ashira legata verki. Increase mitotic figure and dyscariosis. Mitotic figure is a mitosis hoy. Mitosis normal cell at an edition of polyman as thake, ekate mitosis on a very other. A person arobesi malignant is the good token abnormal mitotic figure appear called very. Discariosis normal the karyotype gulosilo, ugulastaste, polybotton is it. What are the causes of dysplasia? Chronic irritation, chronic inflammation, chronic infection, long continued sun exposure, chronic exposure to environmental toxin, those have carcinogenic potentiality. What is the mechanism of dysplasia? Cell stress and or causative agents which causes activation of innate and adaptive immunity or adaptive immunity become activated. Chronic inflammation and chronic irritation, inflammatory mediators pro-inflammatory cytokines, other cytokines, anti-inflammatory cytokines, ultimately oncogene activation and gene mutation. Then disorder cellular development due to this gene mutation, cell proliferation, tumor promotion, dysplasia, ultimately it lead to malignancy, mild and moderate grade of dysplasia reverse when inciting agent withdrawn, but carcinoma in situ never revert to normal, it lead to malignancy. Grading of dysplasia, dysplasia is divided into three grades depending on the severity, one mild or low grade, two moderate or intermediate grade, grade two severe or high grade, grade 3. What is mild grade or grade 1? Atypia involves lower one third of epithelial thickness. Grade 2 atypia involves lower two thirds of epithelial thickness. Grade 3 atypia involves more than two thirds of the epithelial thickness. Grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. Lower one third lower two third, lower more than lower two third to full thickness. When full thickness involved then it is called carcinoma in C2. These two may revert to normal when exciting agent withdrawal. Uh, this one never revert to normal. It leads to ultimately malignant transformation. This is the normal basal layer cells, this is the abnormal cells, abnormal development and maturation. Lower one third grade one, lower two third grade two, two third to full thickness grade three or severe dysplasia, moderate dysplasia, mild dysplasia, moderate dysplasia, severe dysplasia. When full thickness involved it is carcinoma in C2 then it ultimately lead to malignancy. When it invades the basement membrane, then it is called invasive carcinoma. When it enters into the lymphatic root or hematogenic root, then it is called metastatic carcinoma. This normal architecture orientation is gradually lost in this case, lower third reveals abnormal cells, lower tooth and reveals abnormal cells, lower two third to more than lower two third reveals abnormal cells, full thickness abnormal cells. This is called arsenoma in C2, this is severe dysplasia, this is moderate dysplasia, this is very mild dysplasia, this is the normal geological architecture. What are the clinical significance of dysplasia? Dysplasia may be reversible, mild or moderate cases when inciting stimulus is removed. Carries high risk of malignant transformation. When dysplastic changes are marked 
and involve the inter thickness of the epithelium the lesion is referred as carcinoma in situ a pre invasive stage of cancer pre cancerous lesions never revert to normal what are the cytological features of dysplasia abnormal variation in cell size abnormal variation in cell shape abnormal variation in nuclear size abnormal variation in nuclear shape increased nucleocytoplasmic ratio or nc ratio increased number of mitotic figures atypical mitotic figures in grade 3 or more or uh, stages dysplasia uterine cervix gross picture metaplasia versus dysplasia metaplasia this is dysplasia metaplasia conversion of mature differentiate cell into another form of mature cell type often following injury or insult development of abnormal type of cells within a tissue which may signify a stage of preceding the development of cancer metaplasia conversion in cell type only changes in phenotype of cells or tissues eta bujhcho kotha ta ek dhoroner cell ar ek dhoroner cell e poriborton hoyeche ar ei cell ta phenotypic poriborton hoyeche ek dhoroner cell ar ek dhoron diye poriborton hoy nei phenotypic changes ki change size shape nuclear size size chromatin cytoplasm nuclear ratio etc occurs in various type of tissues mainly occurs in the epithelium this is an adaptive process that occurs due to external stimuli occurs due to alteration of genetic material mutation a reversible process usually an irreversible process usually does not lead to formation of cancer may cause cancers tell you what are the difference between metaplasia and dysplasia these are the features of metaplasia these are the features of dysplasia thank you all